to come find you to see if we can all go ahead and open up the tent. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Get that up. Get some tacos. All right. Get some beer. Get some more clothes on. <laughs> you cold already. Yeah. Yeah, anything below 66 is like polar time. I'm ready for my socks and boots and at least my puffer vest. Yeah. <laughs> and to brush my hair. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. It's getting a little ratty. Yeah. <laughs> Once aired up, we made our way to Phoenix for a few quick errands before arriving in Flagstaff, Arizona a day later for setup in the Turtleback Trailers booth. We were excited to see the turnout since this was our first event after announcing our intentions to travel full time and couldn't wait to see old friends from our previous trips to Expo as well as new friends we had met through our social media channels. 
Maybe you've noticed a change in the tent at this point. That's because one of the errands in Phoenix was to swap out our 230 Byron with the massive 230 Sydney to give us the largest sleeping area possible for our new life on the road. After setting up our turtle back home, it was time for one of our second favorite hobbies, food. Hey, Mama. Hey. What are you doing? I'm making, I'm kind of amping it up a little bit. Okay. Because we had some it. peppers and some onions, so instead of just carne, I thought it was going to be like fajitas. Aye, aye. I need to do is get all of this into a row. Yeah. All of it into this, into a big So we were all set up at Expo West. We're right in the middle of it all. We got Expedition Overland right across the way there. We got Max Track equipped. We're right smack in the middle and we're living like some kind of zoo animal. Everybody's just coming by watching us live out of our turtle back. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. We've already had a lot of people stop by just to talk about what we're doing and where we're headed. And it's just been great meeting you guys. I, I really enjoy all these interactions and stuff and hearing your stories. So we're going to slam some of this carne asada, get a little bit of sleep right here, and start this big show tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. She has this much energy. So how was your day today, Mama? It's good. It's good? Yeah. It's busy, wasn't it? Yes. And yeah. yesterday. Let's go this way. There's a walking path over here. Tread lightly. 
So what an awesome day again. Had a blast just hanging out at the Turtleback booth, talking to all you guys about overlanding and your families and all of your goals and dreams and being encouraged by you guys on our next big adventure. And uh, it's really, it's really exciting stuff. It's giving me more courage to hold a camera in front of my face with a bunch of people looking at me like I'm crazy. I was about to say, a bunch of people are walking right yeah, towards you. Yeah, so, yeah, here in a minute. Don't get shy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be shy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna power it. through this. Own this. Own this. We're bloggers, we're bloggers. How do you Blo say? Bloggers. Bloggers? How's it going? We're gonna get something to eat. Yeah, we are too. Did you have a good nap? No, no. we didn't even sleep. Neither did we. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I was like. How many kids did you play with today? A lot. A lot? So we are headed down to the turtleback camping area where there's like 30 or 35 <laughs> turtleback trailers for our herd pirate party. Well, it's not our third pirate party. The theme this year is pirate. Well, the herd pirate party. Oh, I thought you said the third pirate party. No, like, no it's not like we've had third. multiple pirate parties today. Yeah. It could happen. It could happen, maybe, all right. Hey, hey how's it going? Yeah. All right, let's go get some barbecue. Good. That's, that's, that's a winner right there. Bienvenidos. That's, that's, that's cheating, but okay. I know. Points for creativity. Well, we, we don't have anything, so oh, Caroline's already bummed a patch I and a dagger yeah. off of Ryan. He's gonna be full fledged. I know that's what we said. Sure. This is because Claire put this all on While on the surface, Overland Expo may seem to be all about the cool rigs, booths chock full of off-road gear and class after class of specialized training. But spend some time here and you'll soon find that the greatest part about Expo is the community it's made of. The Turtleback Herd Gathering is just an example of all the different ways to connect with people of the same passions and goals of getting into the wilderness and enjoying the great outdoors. What we have here is the Dead Man Anchor. It is the one thing that will pretty much give you an anchor point pretty much anywhere. So you're in the middle of the desert, it's sand, you don't have anything ground, anything hard to grab onto, you can actually bury this thing and use that as your anchor point. The mud, snow, whatever it might be. You can put it up around a rock, it's a lot more stable around a rock because if you have a tree saver, it can work, but you have to make sure it's at that point where if you start pulling on it, it's not going to slip underneath the rock or slip over top of the rock. This thing just kind of grabs a rock so much more. And then you could also use it as your tree saver. So it's, it's got that capability too. And then a lot of other things. We've got um, what's called a castaway method recovery over here. And what's it's showing is just being able to pick up a tire off an obstacle, like a, something you're stuck with your dip, and then you can use that to re get yourself off an obstacle. But the whole thing, Packs down into this little bag. It's about seven and a half pounds, lightweight, and um, can always keep it with you. It's not adding additional weight to your vehicle, and it's got multifunctional. And there's, of course, a lot of other things you can use too with it as well. out a box of gear every month the gear changes there's always something new always something fresh we have um, our big box the premium box it's the um, overlander here 
And we have our smaller box, the Explore box, which is your general outdoor camping gear. Um, so it's always fun to get something new and something exciting. It's kind of like Christmas on your doorstep every month. But once you get this box, it inspires you to go outside and use your gear. So it's gonna get you outside more and have a lot more fun. Awesome. Get lost box. We've done subscription boxes. Always kind of was disappointed with, you know, one quality item, a couple of iffy items. We love gear. I am a gearhead. So this was a great avenue for us to kind of help the community to provide, you know, a good kit of gear um, in a monthly bite that's so it's not breaking the bank all at once. They love it. Uh, they love the, the diversity, the, the excitement of getting something new every month. It's Christmas once a month. Our product is called Shower Pouch. It's a full body wet wipe. It was actually designed because we were in competition with little people, very little little people called babies. Baby wipes. We had to make something that was way better that was actually for adults, you know. So this product is a two foot by one foot cloth. Luckily I have one in my back pocket. This is dry. And it's designed specifically so you can reach to the back of your back as well as from your face and down. You can actually meter it as you know how far you are and what you need to use. Uh, the product is hyperallergenic, it's vegan, uh, it's pH balanced, so any person can use it, man, woman, child. Um, we have uh, organic ingredients in this, uh, such as aloe juice, um, tea tree oil, witch hazel, willow bark. Uh, we believe, uh, you know, just thinking about like my mother and my grandmother, if you're about to buy a product that you're going to eat, if you go and look at the ingredient list, if you can't repeat it or know what it is, you shouldn't eat it. I believe in the same thing as well when it comes to putting stuff on your skin. So on your dermis, not only do we clean it, whereas like a baby wipe is water and a little bit of soap, which dries it out, we actually clean and we condition uh, your skin with these essential oils. So we started a company a year and a half ago. It was birthed out of using this teardrop and uh, addressing the need to smell fresh after three days of being on the, the road. So uh, we've been in existence now and we're just planning just to continue to preach the, the gospel about how we can change the game and how we can keep everyone clean and fresh. Um, whether you're hiking, you're backpacking, uh, you're uh, climbing up Mount Kilimanjaro, or you're just going to Expo West in a booth for two days with another guy in this small teardrop. So hope, the, hope that you come out and you try us. You can find us on our uh, Facebook, Instagram. Our website is www.theshowerpouch.com. Thanks. While we spent much more time meeting and talking than filming the event, we felt it was important for us to spend time immersed in the community, listening to people's plans, encouraging them in their travels, and giving what insight we could into the rig modification selections. It was incredibly exciting to hear how our Overland videos had motivated families and individuals alike to take the plunge and build their own Overland rig to get out there and explore this big, beautiful world. One thing that continually impresses me about this relatively small, a growing community made up of average ordinary people like ourselves is how it can be so positively impacted by a single person's offering of creativity motivation or knowledge whether it's an ingenious product an inspirational video or simply taking the time to teach newcomers the rules of the road it's very exciting to be part of this community where small acts of encouragement have far-reaching effects in this interconnected band of travelers All right, Expo West 2018 is done. We just wrapped up the big show. What an incredible, incredible weekend. I am, I am exhausted. I have been talking nonstop since we got here. I can't believe the response. I, I'm humbled. I am, I am, excited I'm motivated there were so many of you guys that stopped by and 
you were like, dude, what you're doing is so incredible. I want to do with that with my family one day. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep going. We can't wait for the rest of the story. We can't wait for the next video. And I'm flabbergasted. I, I'm not a rock star. I am a normal, everyday guy. People shouldn't recognize me like this, but you did. And I didn't even get to shoot much video because I was here talking to you guys, talking about your rig, talking about your story, talking about your family and, and your path to where you are now. And my mind's blown. I thank you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for encouraging us. Thank you so much for being interested in what we're doing. I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but I'm excited. I am motivated and I gotta get editing. I got I got I got more stories to tell you guys. I got I got more amazing places to go and I, I can't wait to take you there. So thank you for following me along. Thank you for being a part of this huge, crazy adventure that we've got going here. And uh, for those of you that were here, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for saying hi. Thank you for encouraging us to to continue to move forward with this. It's uh it's been one of the greatest weekends of our lives and and we are truly appreciative and, and truly humbled by um by what we got to experience here so i'm gonna go get some sleep now because i'm tired we'll see you on the next one For more information on Overland Expo, go to www.overlandexpo.com. And make sure you join us November 9th through 11th of 2018 for Overland Expo East, just south of Asheville, North Carolina. We'll see you there.